When you see this picture, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Obviously, there's a roller coaster and an ocean in the picture. You might not even know what the name of the roller coaster is, but I'm sure you've seen this picture before. This roller coaster is named Starjet and operated at Casino Pier until 2012 when Hurricane Sandy destroyed it. This made for quite the iconic picture that symbolized all the horrors that came along with Hurricane Sandy. Hurricane Sandy struck in October of 2012 and absolutely devastated those on the eastern shore of the United States and in Latin America near the Atlantic Ocean. Especially on the Jersey Shore, the effects of the hurricane were felt and no other picture symbolizes this best than this picture right here. Starjet quite literally fell into the ocean. The flooding that was dealt with on the Jersey Shore during Hurricane Sandy was just insane. Shore towns are still recovering from Hurricane Sandy, which happened almost 10 years ago now, which is crazy to think about. While where I live in central Jersey isn't quite near the shore, we still felt the effects of the power outages and tree fallings everywhere. When you drive through shore towns, specifically on the drive of Route 35, you will see a lot of houses that have been raised. And the reason for that is because of all the flooding that came in during Hurricane Sandy. This picture right here is from Seaside Heights and shows just how bad the flooding was due to the hurricane. But this video isn't about Hurricane Sandy, it's about the coaster behind the hurricane, Starjet. My name is Colin from Hollywood Studios and this is a brand new series that will be running for the month of October and maybe even beyond. There will be five videos with this one being the first and the final one being on Halloween day, October 31st. The series covers coasters that are no longer with us and are now gone for various reasons. This coaster in particular had quite the unfortunate bit of circumstances that led to its death. Let's take a look back all the way at the start of Starjet in 2002. It was built to replace the park's former Jet Star roller coaster, which was built by Schwarzkopf and closed in the year 2000. Starjet is an ENF high miler very similar to rides like Hurricane at Fun Spot Kissimmee. This ride features a pretty good first drop measuring at about 50 feet tall filled with many airtime moments and turns. These turns were known for being incredibly tight and the ride was definitely seen as being very wild and it was also a fairly long ride too. This coaster had a really nice setting on the boardwalk over the ocean at Casino Pier and it was overall just a Seaside Heights icon. Now let's take a look at the layout of this roller coaster. You would start by taking a right hand turn out of the station and heading up the lift hill. As is shown by this POV, you get an absolutely incredible view of the ocean as you are literally over the ocean. The way this was positioned at Casino Pier, you are literally on top of the ocean. That's how far out the boardwalk went. Once you crest the lift hill, you get in another incredible view of the ocean. You turn right and then take another smaller right hand turn and drop down right next to Pirates Hideaway and you turn, rise up into a hill, go through a really tight hairpin turn, hit a nice break and then drop down into another turn and this turn leads you up into another hill with a block break. You turn, drop back down yet again and this brings you up into yet another uh, hairpin turn. This time you get a really good view of the ocean. And you drop down into a couple of little bunny hills. Then you're going to pop up, turn to the right again, right next to the Music Express. Drop down yet again. Rise back up into the final hairpin turn of the ride. Go through it nice and slowly. And then drop down into the brakes. So this ride overall was a pretty good ride. Like I said, I've ridden a coaster similar to it, which is Hurricane at Fun Spot Kissimmee. I unfortunately did not have the pleasure of riding Starjet when it was operational at Casino Pier, but it looked like an absolutely great ride and it's definitely unfortunate about what happened to it during Hurricane Sandy. This ride served as an icon of Casino Pier and of Seaside Heights due to its location right along the beach and it was definitely sorely missed once Hurricane Sandy took it away. This was one of the most sad things to witness and I remember personally back when I was a little kid I did not drive past Casino Pier, but I drove past another shoreside park, which is Keensburg, and saw the absolute horrible destruction that Hurricane Sandy brought onto these parks, 
These parks tended to take the worst impact out of the whole town due to the fact that they are right on the boardwalk. So anything on the boardwalk was pretty much destroyed during Hurricane Sandy, which led, of course, to the collapsing of the boardwalk and Starjet going into the ocean. I've always found it interesting that Starjet remained pretty much fully intact when it went into the ocean. Nothing really broke apart, sure things bent, but the whole coaster layout was still intact, which is still pretty crazy to me. Of course, this ride falling into the ocean was not only iconic and unfortunate, but also meant a very hefty cleanup process, as did have to happen with everything during Hurricane Sandy. It took the park a while to be able to remove the ride from the ocean, but eventually in 2013 they were able to remove it, and because uh, Jetstar or Starjet was not the only ride that fell into the ocean, uh, the removal crew had to make sure they were getting everything out of the ocean and make sure there was nothing contaminated in the ocean as well, as there was a lot of steel and all this steel and welding from the coasters and the rides definitely wasn't too too good for the ocean. But the ride was eventually removed and Seaside Heights along with all the other shore towns affected by Hurricane Sandy slowly began to rebuild. Casino Pier had a sister park just down the boardwalk which was Fun Town and that unfortunately was totally destroyed and wound up never reopening after Hurricane Sandy. Many people feared the same would happen to Casino Pier due to financial issues that obviously came along with Hurricane Sandy, but they recovered. Over the years, they have added more and more rides and become more and more successful, and just like other parks around them, they have come back. Recently in 2017, Casino Pier made a big announcement and they wound up opening the replacement of Starjet, which is Hydrus. This ride is very iconic, just as thrilling if not even more thrilling than Starjet. I personally have ridden Hydrus and it's absolutely great. It's very good to see that Casino Pier came back from probably their lowest point in history. And it's great to see the whole boardwalk and all of the Jersey Shore, along with the rest of the coast that was affected by Hurricane Sandy, has pretty much recovered. However, there are still people who were affected negatively by Hurricane Sandy who still don't even have a home, which is absolutely astounding to me. So, if you're listening and you were affected by Hurricane Sandy, then I hope everything is good now. Of course, Casino Pier has recovered, and that is what the topic of this video is, so it's great to see that, but it is still sad to know what happened to Starjet and everything else affected by Hurricane Sandy. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I would definitely appreciate the comments on this video as it will help me shape how I do the next video in the Dead Coaster series. Of course, if you enjoy this series and would like to see me continue it past Halloween, definitely let me know. See you guys in the next video.